Here is special protein here and these two proteins are called CD79. I think they were discovered too late. CD79. So we say surface amino globulins, once they are loaded with the appropriate antigen, these amino globulins move their tails and they activate CD79 and they give signal to the nucleus. Is that right? The congratulations. The antigen against which we were pre-programmed to make antibodies, that antigen is there. Now, look what happens. This activate a special type of gene and when that gene is activated, that gene make a protein and those proteins are expressed on the surface of this selected B lymphocyte. So these special green molecules as green receptors are now expressed on the surface of this selected B cell. Do you think other B cells will have molecules like this? No. It means they are getting ready to be stimulated by something. It happens at times. Cells even get ready that someone should stimulate. And someone is really there. Who is there? Let me tell you. While this B cell is selected and it expresses its surface with special type of receptors, meanwhile, this has undergone enough clonal Let's link the story number one and two. This is occurring in the same lymph node. There were T cell stimulation and there is also B cell stimulation. Previously we talked about T cell was selected, then it clonally expanded. Once T cells have enough proliferated or multiplied, then suddenly they open another box of genes. They open a new box of genes. In those boxes, first of all this gene is activated and this gene produces a product this gene produces a product and this product binds here. What is happening now? T cells are helping in some way to the B cell. T cells are producing a product for which B cell, stimulated B cell has expressed the receptors. Is that right? And there is only one T cell, a lot of T cells. So all of them start producing product like that. Oh my God. So the super production of this unique green molecules and these molecules are going to the B cells and they stimulate over here. Are you understanding? When these T cell produced molecules bind with the B cells, all these give message to the nucleus of which cell? B cell. You know what is the message? That similar antigen, this message to the nucleus, that similar antigen has been presented in a very proper way to T helper cells and T helper cells are sending these special molecules. I will tell you what are these molecules. As soon as these green molecules go over there, there is a very special signal to one more type of, what is this? Gene. Okay, I will make change the color of this gene. These all signals are going to this gene. And this gene in the which cell? B cell is activated. And once this gene is activated, there is a mitotic, strong mitotic reaction into B cells. And B cell clones start expanding. And this particular B cell undergo extensive mitosis and these cells number increase or decrease? Yes? The number? increase. Do you know what is the name of this molecule? It is called B cell growth factor. B cell growth factor coming from the T cell because it is leading to the growth of B cell or because it is also talk between the lymphocytes, isn't it? T lymphocytes talking to the B lymphocytes, this molecule can also be called interleukin. Actually, this is interleukin 4 or technically we can say interleukin 4 which is produced by these cells is acting as B cell growth factor. They are functionally B cell. So what is the function of interleukin 4? They act B cell as B cell growth factors and lead to the pre-selected growth of the pre-selected B cells and there is clonal expansion of the B cells. Now in the lymph node, those B cells 
which have a capability, capability to make anti-star antibodies, those B cells multiply. Right? Now, once these B cells have done enough multiplication, they start expressing another type of receptor. They start expressing another type of receptor. It means they are getting ready for another type of stimulation. Meanwhile, one more gene is activated into these, all these cells, T cells. And all these T cells start making another type of, yes, molecule. And that molecule will come and fit into these receptors. And these are called, these molecules are called B cell differentiation factor. What are these molecules called? B cell differentiation factors or simply called interleukin 5. You see in the diagram interleukin 3 is missing. Actually interleukin 3 is also produced by the T cells but that does not work in these. That works somewhere else. Later on you will learn interleukin 3 produced by the T cells work on the bone marrow. Right? That is not relevant right now with us. Right? Now you know interleukin 1 is by mac from macrophage coming and stimulating the T cells. Now look, these T cells are helping the B cells. So this T cell should be called T helper cell. What should be this T cell called? T helper cell. Right? Later on you will learn this very special type of T helper cell is called T helper 2 cells. I will tell you in later lectures where is the T helper 1. So this special type of T cell is called T helper 2 cell. So T helper 2 cell are producing interleukin 4 as well as interleukin 5. Interleukin 4 lead to proliferation of selected B cell. So interleukin 4 is B cell growth factor. Once B cells have enough proliferated, then interleukin 5 is being produced and interleukin 5 receptors are expressed by the clonally expanded B cells. And when B cells are stimulated by interleukin 5, all the B cells are stimulated by interleukin 5, they undergo differentiation. These B cells change into type of the cells. These B cells convert into oval cells with a nucleus with cartwheel shape, very prominent Golgi body. And all these B cells convert into cells like this. Are you understanding? Now what are these? These are the functional B cells. What is the function of these B cells? They will powerfully activate their machinery to produce such antibodies. You know, the antibodies which they displayed on the surface. Right? And powerfully activate the genetic material to produce such antibodies. There, which are antibodies? Anti-star antibodies. And they start, throw, start synthesizing and throwing those antibodies out of the cell. So these become anti-star secretors, anti-star antibody secretor cells. Such B cells, such B cells which are actively producing the antibodies, such B cells are called plasma cells. So what are plasma cells? Plasma cells are those B cells which are functionally very active and releasing antibodies. Resting B cell only express the antibody sample, but they don't secrete the antibodies. Are you understanding? But once they are properly clonally selected and clonally expanded and clonally differentiated, then such B cells which have been converted into plasma cells, they start releasing thousands of the antibodies every second. Thousands of the anti-star antibodies will be start releasing from the lymphoid tissue into body fluids. Is that right? No problem.